Fernandez. Oh, slip. And Abrines takes full advantage. Didn't see who went over there. Room to dribble forward. Here is Sance. And then Gomez. And just to score. And he gets the foul. Sense. Abrines. Oh, great dribbling. Oh, that's a wonderful piece of skill. Milenovic. Oh, well played. Luka Mitrovic scoring, but it's quite right to give credit to Milenovic as well. Mitrovic couldn't convert that one. Fernandez. It's tucked away by. Ola Theola. Abrines. Ola Oh, Diez got behind Miljenovic too easily. Diez. Abrines. Makes it with three points. Just starting to change gear, Spain. Spain seem to be concerned about Miljanovic. Avramovic. Oh, Miljanovic will pick it up. He hasn't scored again. Brilliant, brilliant work. And it off neatly. Converted by Yankee, was working hard. This is Perez. Goes for three points and he makes it. Well, I still haven't shaken Serbia off. That was well played for Miskovic, but he couldn't make it count. And Spain do. Vives. Miljanovic. Oh, he's given his man the slip. Brilliant stuff for Miljanovic, and he gets the foul as well. Great bit of dribbling there. Vives. It's the foul. And he's coming and done well. Vives. Mijanovic. Now he's finding his range. Some great play. Here's a chance for three points. And it's taken brilliantly. No stitch. Well, interesting. Micic is backing off. He's not getting close. Mijenovic is allowing Sanz to dribble where he likes in the Serbia court. And if anything, Sands got by Mijanovic there too easily to score. For this, Mijanovic just seemed to be caught flat-footed. Once again, it's Mitrovic. 
Mijanovic. Mitrovic goes driving forward and he gets it. The gap is down to five points. As I say, out on court for Serbia. Mitrovic, only one point in it now. Six points without rip this final. Looks like it could go down to the wire. Mitrovic. And they went through a spell like this in the second quarter where both teams were scoring. I don't get the feeling that Luis Guil, the Spain coach, is too concerned about organisation for his team. He just knows he's got the players who can do things like that. Oh, Spain have got it back since. Three points, and that's a real bonus for Spain. Big mistake by Serbia. Yes. Abrines. Rich. Now Mijanovic. Change of direction for Mijanovic. And it's there. Back to three points. Sands. Cleverly done. for 2011 either Spain or Serbia are going to be crowned the winners in Rocklaw great run by Miljenovic stopped though quite brilliantly by Hernan Gomez Number 12 you saw there was Nikola Jankovic, of course. But it was Miljanovic who had dribbled his way forward. Fernandez. Scores. That was a brilliant shot. Well, it's a score for Mitrovic and a foul. There he goes again, Vives. Oh, it's a good block. Yet with the rebound, and he puts it away. Well, that was crucial for Spain. Mitrovic. Milosevic to get inside the three-point line. That's a great layup for Micic. Well, Single-handedly, he's trying to drag Serbia back into this. Serbia have only lost one of their seven games up to this point. Fernandez and top scorer in the competition adds to his talent Micic oh he's got past Diez oh it's absolutely brilliant and Micic is single handedly dragging Serbia back into this with a chance to make the scoreline a bit more respectable. And he does take both. And it's another miss. 
See if he goes straight down with Mijanovic. Bangubic. He missed it. And that's it. Spain are the victors. By 71 points to 65 in the final. They are the under-18 European champions for the third time. It's the first time they've won the gold medal since 2004. Well, they have been the outstanding team of the championship. That's eight wins in a row now for Spain. Bitter disappointment for Serbia, who deserve to have made it to the final. And they pushed Spain hard for long periods. Consoling with him as well. Number nine, of course, Daniel Diev. Number 11, Alejandro Abrines. Most valuable player award. Seventeen years old, he turns eighteen tomorrow. And they're a team of European champions. He stands out. And on the top step on the podium. 2011 European under 18 basketball champions are Spain. Victory. Vives, yeah. number 10, Alejandro Suarez. Six is Guillermo Hernan Gomez. We didn't see number five, Jaime Midori in the final. Daniel Diez, number nine. Albert Holmes there, number 12, didn't see him in the final. There's the most valuable player, of course. For the whole championship, Alejandro Abrines. Number seven, Jaime Fernandez. Scored so many points to get Spain to the final. Smiles all around, especially from Luis Guil, Spain coach. Simply the best, quite right. Third time, let me remind you, that Spain have won this under 18 European Championship. And it wasn't decided until the last two minutes of the final when they finally managed to move ahead and finally win by 71 points to 65 and here comes the trophy for the winners Spain's name will be engraved underneath that of last year's champions Lithuania of course well once again it was Spain against Serbia on Polish soil just as it was for the 2009 Euro Basket final in Katowice. And it's Spain who come out on top. It's 
Wayne Harvey. Under 18, European champions. And the celebrations can begin.